All right, everybody's commenting on this footage that was supposedly leaked at CinemaCon. I don't even know what the fuck CinemaCon is, but okay, I'm guessing it's a convention. And let me say we go through the same shit every year. Or every time they release a new Halloween movie anyway. What happens is they go to the convention, they release some footage. The fanboys mark out and then they come back and they make 57 million fucking videos about the same piece of footage. Oh, look, 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 look. Did you see that piece of string bean in, in Lori's mouth? Look at the way she was chewing that string bean. Oh, man. Did you see the way Allison winked her eye? Look at the way she winked her eye when she said that. They'll make all these videos about little pieces of footage, little snippets of footage, all to gain views. Listen, I don't do that. It's not my thing. It's never been my thing. I'm merely commenting on this. A friend sent me this screenshot and it basically says this. Flashback to 44 years ago and the original film. Of course they will because they're trying to capitalize off of the first one. They're not creative enough to come up with their own story. So of course they're going to show you Halloween 1. Because they can't come up with anything themselves. And then it says flashback to Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. Well, why not? Why not? Of course they would show those two movies because they're trying to promote those movies. Why wouldn't they do that? It's a part of their trilogy. So of course they're going to show that it's a part of their narrative. They're just continuing to push the narrative. Now this is where it actually gets intriguing. Michael stalks Lori in present day before she strikes. That sounds intriguing. I would like to see that. And then it says, brutal fight between the two before she stabs his hand. Again, it sounds intriguing, but then again, she fought him in 2018, so what's the difference? And then it says, she takes him prisoner, has a knife to his head before the footage cuts out. Again, it sounds very intriguing. I would love to see what she does with Michael. Does she have him alone in a room? Is she literally holding him hostage? That would be something new and something fresh with the franchise. I would really like to see that. And I would also just love to see how these fanboys are gonna mark the fuck out now that they got this new information. Damn. And I have to admit, if this were Halloween 9, a.k.a. Retribution, I probably would mark out as well. The difference is, though, we're not talking about me, and this is not Halloween Retribution. This is Halloween Ends, and we're talking about the fanboys. So, there's that. I thought I would come on here and give my thoughts. And that's about it. What do you guys think about what it says about this footage? Let me know in the comment section. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. What do you think about this information regarding Halloween ends? Let me know. Sound off. Please be sure to follow me on all forms of social media at the Myers Fan 25 and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you for watching.